Alrighty guys, we're back. Handy dandy opening tool. It changes every time. You never know if you're gonna get the little screwdriver or the little screwdriver. We have two screwdrivers, but this screwdriver has a removable end so I can put other screwdrivers in it. Isn't it fancy? Not really. Anyway, we're opening up some more Modern Horizons. Shaking the camera stand, getting spicy up in here. Um, a bit of an update on this. Um, I am finally starting to drain down some of the rares and mythics. Uh, some of the first mythics that I ran out of, well not ran out of, but have come close to running out of, is I'm sure no one will be surprised, but uh, things like the first sliver, that's one of the very, very low on that one now. Uh, Force Negation, also huge surprise. Whoever could have seen that coming? So that's what we're looking for today. Um, what is interesting? Let me move my, my pack wrapper trash bag. So what you guys don't see is I actually have a trash bag that I have kind of next to me where, ooh, $30 land. Let us go. That is that is what we want to see. Let's see, we'll do this. Uncommons, all the commons. Savage Swipe is something I've been selling a lot of lately. Um, Lava Dart's doing good. Goblin War Party, those are all okay. But um, I now officially have every common, uncommon token, etc. Foil. Uh, I need to push these up just a skosh. They have room, keep everything on the camera. I readjusted my camera a little bit here, so it's a little bit easier now to uh, keep everything where we need to keep it. I'm actually going to push these over because we're going to get some spicy mythics. I can feel it. I don't know yet. This is something else that's been moving pretty well too, which is nice. Uh, Imposter of the Sixth Pride, that moves a fair bit. It's really interesting, right? Like a lot of these cards move fairly well. Um, but yeah, all the, ooh, look at that, look at that, look at that poor common. What is that? Wall of a thousand cuts? We'll just set that off to the side, because it is bricked. Um, the interesting thing about this, oh, speak of the devil and he shall appear, uh, is that, ooh, Tribute Mage also sell a ton of those. Oh my gosh, I go through so many. Pondering Mage too, Smoke Shroud's another one. Yeah, anyway, oh no, party foul. There we go. Unjack that. Um, it's it's interesting to watch how this stuff moves, right? Like I never knew, like I didn't think there was going to be any issues. Force of Vigor, unfortunately, that that got reprinted and bricked. Oh, I put my uncommons over here. Someone in the comments is probably like, "Oh my god, you put it in the wrong pile! What the heck?" Let me double check now. See, we're all good, guys. We're all good. We can calm down now. Um, It was, it's interesting to see how the printing of MH3 really didn't affect Modern Horizons 1 really all that much. Even with, ooh, Ephemerate, nice card. Hopefully get a lot of those in this. Fiery Islet, good rare. Even with the old border treatment being added to these cards, some of them, um, it really didn't affect the overall supply a whole lot because to hit those foil old border cards is actually really hard. That's the that's the really good talisman to hit. It's like a dollar. We're still looking for that. We're still looking for that nice ephemerate. But yeah, so everything is now sorted from the first 70 some odd boxes that I opened. And it is moving. It ended up filling up a little over eight five rows. And then I have two five rows for quick access. And now this counts the bulk that I got from... Oh, ho, 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 let us go if you're gonna hit a foil that is one of the foils to hit that is that is an expensive foil mythic oh my gosh that's a that's a dub oh man it would have been it would just been the icing on the cake to have like an ephemerate in that pack could you imagine like a sword of truth with a sword of truth oh my gosh that would be so disgusting Unbound Flourishing, another really good mythic that's been moving. That's an, actually another one that I'm starting to run out of too, is Unbound Flourishing too. 
Um, but yeah, so it's just it's just interesting to see how this stuff moves. I thought I thought there would be very little motion, and there was even less motion than I thought, which was a little bit relaxing and a little bit like it was a nice confirmation because you're like, oh, thank God, I just spent seventeen thousand dollars on on boxes of Modern Horizons one, and I did not get absolutely shrecked by MH three reprints. I didn't think I was, but still, it was just that just that comfort moment where you're just like, oh, thank God, you know, it's just nice. You don't want that. You don't want to get wrecked. I don't want anyone to get wrecked. Um, but we are officially in the talks with one of the first. Um, I've sold stuff through the channel before, obviously. Um, I haven't had an issue doing that. People reach out to me and I let them know, sure, it's for sale or not for sale, etc. And, you know, that's kind of how that conversation goes. And if they want it, then, you know, sure, you can have it. I'll tell you, I don't care. And we we have started getting emails from people about selling stuff which is great um i've had some references i've had, you've actually used force of despair has like gone way up in price oh my gosh i started selling forces of despair at like i think it was like six dollars or five dollars um and again i i limit everything that goes out right like it's a little more annoying when you're doing inventory like it's easier to list like, oh, I have 50 copies of this card and just list them all, right? That's the easy approach, but if you take your time and list them out in like chunks, which is what I was doing like 10 at a time, um, I actually have enjoyed that card going up in price because I only sold about half of them between, you know, five and eight dollars. And then I've sold, you know, another 10 or 11 at like nine bucks. And I sold another 10 at like $10. And now I have a small pile left over and I'm just kind of like, watching this card climb up in price and I'm like well this is why we uh this is why you limit sale pieces and this is why you don't firebomb out like 200 copies of a rare in one moment which would just absolutely shrek you and that's why you don't do that so fun fun learning learning experience there if you have if you didn't know that already always list your stuff out in chunks if you only have a couple copies then you know whatever list them but um be conservative with how much of a something you list. Doesn't matter how many copies you have. Hey, there's our FM rate finally. Okay, so I'll to the comments now. Doesn't matter how many copies of something you have. Just be be protective of your assets, right? Like you don't want to over flood. Ooh, Sarah, decent. Not the best, but decent. Um, you don't want to flood. Ooh, there we go. Two FM rates. Sorry, I couldn't. I just sensed it was in there. You don't want to flood your supply out. You want to control it, and that's and that's like a really important learning learning moment for people out there. If you guys haven't done mass openings, peel out your expensive stuff in chunks. I even do it with commons. I do. I have more available for my commons. I do twenty five commons at a time because I don't want to have to constantly restock those. Um, but you know, it's it's just a smart strategy to like maintain you know strong assets and so that way you kind of you can kind of enjoy the rises and falls you're going to get burned sometimes on the falls of stuff but as long as you're not doing your mass openings like right before a set comes out like my genius ass was doing um you're going to be fine you're not going to you're not going to see major downturns unless there's like a banned list come out or something really really obnoxious happens someone floods the market with 30,000 copies of a card for some strange reason etc like you're usually going to be protected from the downswings by just simply not doing a mass opening around a bo like a set release, unless it's the set that is releasing. So yeah, that's a uh, good good times, good times overall. But yeah, uh, I did misspoke. I did misspeak, misspoke. I don't know, whatever that is. I said the I said the incorrect town name. My wife and I actually got married in Charlottesville. The event is in Charlotte. So I do apologize for that, but it is the Collecticon in Charlotte, uh, North Carolina. So if you guys are there, I'll be giving away some free packs. Uh, it will not be Modern Horizons 1, I'm sorry. But I do have some Theros packs left over from another event I'll be giving away. Uh, Defile is another really good card too. And I will have some Flesh and Blood boxes with me, probably like some Everfest. Uh, I might do, I might even do like some Uprising or something too, I don't know. I, I did a I did a pretty big deal recently, and I ended up with some some damaged products. So I was like, you know what? What the heck? Just give back to the community. We'll we'll do some free free flesh and blood giveaways and some free magic packs. You know, dealers dealers choice on what you guys want. But ooh, what a crazy ass box! Oh my god! Is there an ephemerate too? I would that would have just been like just bananas. 
Dude, this box is just so gross. This is disgusting. This is disgusting. This is like one of those like three, four hundred dollar boxes. And double rare. Oh my gosh. Generous gift, by the way, is a dollar plus uncommon. And it sells. Like I've had multiple sells since I uploaded those last night. Uh, it's it's crazy what some of this stuff sells for. But yeah, it's interesting watching all this stuff as the system moves and I grow inventory and things cuff in and things get added and more stuff comes in. And more stuff and more stuff, etc. Like it's just really interesting watching this this evolution of the system grow. And it's nice seeing like these these things that I had to like really think about and like how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna scale? How am I gonna organize my my bulk? How am I gonna do like all this thought that I put into this stuff to scale this correctly? It's nice seeing these systems just work the way they're supposed to. Um, even even with like current current ongoing issues that I have with the medical stuff. Hopefully I find out soon what's going on with that. But I may even know by the time this video goes live, honestly. That's my my hope. I'm supposed to get some results back finally, but we'll see. We'll see. Just happy thoughts, happy vibes. Grind what I can. Um, I actually even had to do, like, I did a collector box mass opening. Oh, no. Okay. Did I? Wow. Ninja mode. Um, I did the collector box mass opening for... Uh, Hey, I wasn't even looking. We got the force negation too. This box, can we just take a moment to like look at how disgusting this box is? Like, look at this. There's just this is just this is just stupid. Like I have four more packs left, right? We've hit Ren and Six, 26 bucks. First sliver, $47. Sarah Sarah's, I think, 12. Unbound is another 15, 18, something like that. So right there is over a hundred dollars almost in cards. And then we have Force of Negation, which sells for about 45 all day. And then we have like a 50 or $60 foil. Like this is almost, almost 250, like $275 in cards. I have six cards, six. Like I don't even have all of them. I am still missing another mythic in here. I have, wait, 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 let's do this, let's do this. That's 10, bulk, 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 10, bulk, few dollars, few dollars, few dollars. Uh, bulk, 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 $12, bulk, dollar, dollar, uncommon, why are my uncommons here? Get out of here. Uh, few dollars, few dollars, few dollars, few dollars, $10, dollar, $30. I have in my hand, not counting the force negation, almost $130 plus in rares. Like it's another, call it a hundred bucks just to be friendly. This is a $375 box. I'm still missing a mythic and I hit the foil mythic. Like this is why I've been saying for months, like you can literally just go buy the freaking boxes off TCG player at market retail price. Like not even like not even like going and nickel and diming like I did. Like I nickel and dimed because I wanted to maximize my profits. You can literally go buy $200 boxes of Modern Horizons 1 shipped, sell only the rares, the Snowlands, and maybe some of the Mythics, and you're gonna start making money. Like every time. Like you're just gonna start making, you're just printing money. Like it's so dumb. Like these should be $250 boxes at a minimum. Like. I'm just saying, like, not even pumping my own bags, because every box that I have is eventually going to be opened, either on videos or as part of, you know, to restock certain cards in the, in the event that I accidentally oversell something. Um, you know, it's, it's so silly just how much free money is effectively available in these boxes, and they're just sitting. Like, no one is touching them. And I just don't get it. It's like so free. Just go buy a box, open it. And I even had someone email me and say, hey man, I actually took your advice. I bought some boxes and I opened them and I did great. And I don't even think like, I don't even think he like hit 
this is this is like effectively like a god tier box, right? We hit like a top tier foil mythic. It's not like the best foil mythic, but it's one of the best mythics. We hit actually one less mythic than we're supposed to. Did I miss one? I might have missed one. I don't think I did. Yeah, we're actually short of mythic. We're short of mythic. And we still have a $400 plus dollar box. Like, think about that for a second. Like, and all these uncommons, right? Like, these are 20, these are effectively like quarters a piece. There's like another, uh, I don't know, like 30, 40 bucks. And then this whole stack of commons here, there's two ephemerates, which is six plus dollars. And then every other common in here averages out to like 10 to 15 cents a piece. And there's like 300 something commons here. And then we have our snow lands. There's 36 snow lands here that I make a dollar a piece on average for. Like, like, like guys, like I'm not even like, I'm not even trying to grief here, but like, it's so silly. Like, it's just, it's just so dumb. This is another box that I opened. Look at this. Prismatic Vista, $30 right there. Boom, 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 $10. Another few dollars, few eleven dollars, dollar, dollar, twelve dollars, 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 dollar. Like it's so, so silly. Like I just, I just don't understand. Why is no one listening to me? I'm trying to give you free money. Just enjoy the free monies. Like it's so stupid. Like just, just go buy a box if you don't believe me. Look, I'm so confident in fact that you will make money opening that box of Modern Horizons 1 that if you for some reason and I'll do this for like the first five people if you show me a receipt for a box under $200 if you somehow lose money I will mail you a pack or something I don't I don't care like I'll mail you something to make it not feel bad like that is how dumb this is like oh I guess it is only four mythics I thought it was five um, but like, look at this. This is the another box. Eighteen dollars, twenty something dollars. This is like thirty dollars right now. Echo Vions, twenty something dollars. Like, there's there's almost a hundred dollars in Mythics here. Like, and then we have all these Snowlands. Like, this is it's just so s freaking silly. Like, I just I just don't get it. Like, is it is it just like a lack of like? Do people not believe me? Is people are people just afraid to like go spend two hundred dollars on a box and open it and sell the singles? Like I just don't, I just don't understand. Like if you can open a box of Modern Horizons one and average two fifty plus a box, like and that's not even counting your commons and uncommons and your foils most of the time. Like that's that's just so crazy to me. Like I don't understand. Anyway, guys, thanks for the video. Thanks for the time. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and su subscribe and support. Yeah, subscribe and support. And uh, like always, guys, I'm always buying stuff. I just bought bought 240 packs of uh, Throne of Eldraine collector packs. I'm probably buying some more of them because someone reached out to me about them. And uh, you know what the heck? Why not? The the EV is there at that price point, and you know I have the system to sell every single foil, common, uncommon, special treatment, whatever in there, and I don't mind, I don't mind recouping an extra five six hundred dollars over eight months. Like that's the position that I have built myself to do and handle. So I will continue to do that, and uh, we're just gonna keep on a marking, boys. I will uh, talk to you guys soon. See you guys later. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And thanks for the support. Bye.